Hello, boys and girls, men and women of all ages, shapes, and sizes. My name is Owen Adams, and this is something a little bit different today. As you can see, this is City Skylines, but I'm not doing a stream. This is a little how-to tutorial. As you know, sometimes I do Minecraft tutorials and all that stuff. But today I'm doing something a little bit different. This is a City Skylines tutorial because I had a fair few people ask how you clean polluted water. So I'm going to keep this quick, but hopefully cover a lot of things. As you raise your city from a tiny little town to a city, you'll get these areas with polluted water. This is basically, I've made this, I've prepared this area specifically just to demonstrate. So this is just your basic water drain pipe, and then this orange stuff, this is water pollution. If you want to see this, by the way, you just go to your city views and you click this barrel here. And pollution's pretty bad because eventually it gets to be uh, pretty all contaminating. As you can see, uh, my water inlets are here, so I specifically set up a situation where we have polluted water, which is pretty bad. So let me <laughs> let me just slow down a little bit so I don't kill my city. Uh, this city was actually pretty good beforehand. I deliberately put in some polluted water just to fix it. So first things first, I've got a lot of polluted water down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you should do, most importantly, the steps you should take. Now, the first thing you should do uh, is you could actually get, as you grow your city, you should get rid of these sewage outlets. Let me just, right off the bat, I'm going to take out a couple of these, about halfway down, just so you can see, and replace them with these. Now, this is something you'll figure out yourself. This is the easiest way to do. Uh, if you replace your water drain pipe with a water treatment plant, or if you have the Green Cities expansion, uh, the actual, the, the Eco Water Outlet, that's the best one. But let's just go with the, let's just go with the water treatment plant just to begin with, just so I can show you. Now, as we're on a river here, That'll drain away. So that, that's another tip too. If you put your water outlets on flowing water, what you'll start to see is the pollution will be carried away. That means it does also carry pollution downstream to your water inlets. But uh, that's, a, that's a first step, basically. Your pollution will start to carry away. Automatically, as you can see, we've cleared out. We've got less here. If I speed up again, what you'll start to see is this starts to put out a little bit of pollution, but not too much. Now, the reason I haven't cleared all of these is sometimes, this is not the perfect display, but sometimes what you'll see is pollution will actually get stuck in a bay because water isn't flowing. So let me show you some of the other ways you can clean pollution. That's the most important thing, by the way. That's the most important thing, to actually replace these water outlets with cleaner water outlets. But what you might want to do is specifically clean the water, and this is something they added in the Green Cities DLC. This is called the Floating Garbage Collector, and I'm just going to put this down here just to demonstrate what this does. Let's put a few of these down. Put them down the line. What the floating garbage collector does is, unlike the uh, the sewage treatment, it does specifically clean water that passes through it. So basically we have three prong appro approach right now. Make sure your water outlets are heading downstream because then you will clear out water, you will clear out pollution faster once you stop producing it. Then, Stop producing it, switch to these uh, cleaner outlets, and then put these water pollution cleaners down here, and you'll start to see these will actually... Uh, see, the problem is right now we're making more pollution than we can actually get rid of, so let's uh, get rid of these now. A lot of this pollution will wash away immediately. So let's actually drop these down to all water treatment plants. Really, we should be going with the eco water treatment plants, because like I say, those are even cleaner. But uh, there we go, let's put another one on there. We have enough sewage treatment in the city there right now, so let's follow this pollution now. Oh, hey. A little shot on power, apparently. Pop that on there, just connect it to the grid. And now, what we should start to see... If I can clear what I'm holding, that is. Firstly, the water's carrying away the pollution. These cleaners, let's go down here... As you can see, these are already starting to have an effect here. This is not just the drop of pollution. These, uh, these, what do they call them? Uh, floating garbage collector. The floating garbage collector is, there we go, starting to have an effect immediately there. You can see this lighter area where it's immediately working on the pollution. And now, let me show you. This is really killing my population, by the way. I had to deliberately manufacture this. This is a really good demonstration of why you don't want pollution in the water. A whole load of my city's population is basically getting sick and dying because that pollution was getting into the water. So look, we're still creating a little bit of pollution here, but as you can see, the floating garbage collectors are cleaning it up. If we'd put the eco-treatment plants, that would be even less. There would just be no pollution. But then there's one more thing you can do, and this is another little tip I have. 
and this is good for areas here. And this is actually a little different, as you can see, we were working on this earlier. Um, this is a fresh water outlet, and uh, this is a slightly slower process. Uh, as you can see, a lot of this pollution is floating in here. Uh, this should start to clean up now pretty quickly. Uh, let's put some more of these floating garbage collectors down. But yeah, something else you can do if you don't have the Green Cities expansion and you can't afford the float, you haven't unlocked the floating garbage collectors yet. Another thing you can do is put fresh water outlets in here. And what they will do is they won't necessarily push away the clean water into the polluted one and fix it. But what they will do is they'll keep the water flowing, which makes it easy to move. But uh, while we're working on that, let's put a few more of these collectors down. You can see they do really work quite quickly. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's, th that's my guide to clearing polluted water. Uh, step one, always step one with your polluted water. Upgrade to your later uh, water treatment buildings. Uh, I'm having a little bit of a minor crash right now because I'm running like 30 things in the background. Uh, City Skylines doesn't like me to play and record the footage. Uh, but <laughs> it'll pick up in a moment. It's having a moment. Alright, while it's having a moment, I'll... I'll, uh, uh, I'll close up, essentially. Uh, that's the kind of multi-prong approach I basically recommend. Uh, first of all, get rid of your pollution sources. That's the most important thing. Go from your original sewage outlets to water treatment of some kind. As long as you are, as long as you have a sewage outlet, you are not going to uh, rein in the pollution. The next step is to put down the floating garbage collector because that's the only building that will actively eat pollution. It will actively consume pollution. Nothing else will devour pollution like those buildings do. There you go. Look, that that is it. Basically, eating pollution in the surrounding area. Then you want to put fresh water outlets anywhere where pollution is basically clagging up there and proving to be hard to shift because fresh water outlets will create a little bit of water flow. It's not actually working that great here, but, it's, it's, but it does work. And uh, yeah, the other thing is just a little bit of city planning. Uh, city Skylines is one of those games where, yes, individual little buildings will help, but importantly, what you want to do is make sure that you are also designing your city around the problem. So a little bit of conscientious city planning, and what you'll see is make sure you're putting your outlets downstream means that when you do get those better outlets, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that, my game crashed. That's a way for the video to end. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running all the expansions on a PC with not quite enough RAM for this. But yeah, when you do get those outlets, those upgraded outlets sorted out, uh, what you'll see is that having it on a flowing water carries the pollution away much faster. There we go. Sorry about the technical difficulties, but that is basically my whole video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.